at least they should give us option and that's the only reason so hello friends i'm um and today we're diving in the fantastic world of linux and here i have literally the most perfect linux distribution for my nvidia powered laptop and i must say this is working way too great as compared to even windows for some level i'm running obs i'm running some screen mirroring and the codecs and drivers are working pretty well i'm recording a 1080p video and let's check the system resources so as you can see the system resources are pretty okay and yeah i've I'm running a hell lot of stuff so yeah it's obvious the RAM usage and as you can see the CPUs are spiking up but I have a literally very powerful CPU and GPU so not to worry about it and as I said this distribution is best for me a person who literally has a very powerful RTX graphics card and, and what do you call it Ryzen 7 5800HS CPU and 16 gigs of RAM for sure. Now I want I want to tell you because in the Linux world. Now I want to tell you because in Linux world, Linux distributions for very high end PCs or powerful PCs with GPUs, eGPUs to be sure, are not okay. Like really, if you wanna play games, do content creation, you don't have proper proprietary drivers. But in my opinion fedora is the best and most compatible one like really this is the most stable the most amazing and what can we say a very performing linux distro especially for high end pcs you see i used to use it on my very literally very very old like nine year old laptop with intel i3 u gen like it was like fifth generation four gigs of ram and it worked pretty fine and this is the same setup with same set of apps running right now on this PC. I have OBS recording a 1080p video at 30fps. I have screen mirroring which I'm using for face cam and a couple of applications here and there. I believe it should use like 5 gigs of RAM. Now the reason I'm telling you that it should use 5 gigs of RAM because you see if you have 4 gigs of RAM then it would be using just 2 gigs of RAM because memory optimization and organization but if you are using a very high-end pc then your linux distro should and i'm saying this word your linux distribution must use most of the what do you call it potential of your pc and i must say this is running way too smooth like really literal smooth and as you can see this is a fresh install of fedora on my pc and today we're gonna customize it or not to be specific like I'm not doing a desktop customization. I'm just telling you about the amazing features of Fedora on my PC, for sure. So let's say my aim for installing Linux on it was to create content. And for that, I wanted a Linux distro which can run multiple desktop environments. And that is why I chose Fedora because like really the package management is amazing on it. But I am not used to just using this. What do you call it? close window button i need minimize and maximize buttons too so let's install gnome tweaks shall we new window let me increase the size sudo dnf install gnome dash x let's say yep install it and there it is installed now let's fix it thinking about installing some things like really well then let's enable all oh, right extension manage here we have touchpad access pretty okay but no I need some acceleration there well then windows and there we go. maximize and minimize button now let's customize the desktop a little shall we now I have a set of wallpapers which in every video I've linked in the description so don't worry about it let me my device and there we go so there it is the wallpapers we'll see let me go to pictures okay now let's choose the wallpaper in my opinion I'm gonna go with a little this one let's try it okay this is beautiful but not that much so i'm gonna be using what shall i use here? this one look let's try it okay this is amazing like really well then let's use this one this is literally dope i don't know whose logo is this but it is literally amazing just look at that and yeah i wanted to cover another thing the things i love about Linux. like really in most of the operating systems i've used even in windows android or chrome os the wallpapers are a little blurry but in linux 
Oh, wow, it's amazing. Well then, let's install some icon and a theme. So I'm gonna be using Papyrus icon theme. Icon pack, well then let's go there and download the zip file load it in. now for this i believe official gnome looks pretty okay right so i'm not gonna change the theme just the icon pack and i should install some cust you know extension should not so let's go to gnome extension and kill manager and there we go now let's blur my shell blur now turn it on install and where is it voila there we go this is indeed looking pretty dope this is just nice like i'm not gonna make it way too flashy this is indeed but there is something like neofetch but i've heard that neofetch has been discounted i don't know about it was i right i was installing the icon for downloads papyrus icon extract for it extraction now let's open the folder and install.sh they should install all the icon packs and its types folders reposit of that stuff and in the meantime i believe it like really everything dope hmm uh, so what else should I do like really all right then there's one thing you see I tried droid cam but there was an issue of V yeah this one V4 L2 loop playback device this is a codec problem and this codec isn't properly available on Fedora I don't know why like all the Debian based and Ubuntu based distributions have it but Fedora doesn't and it's not that important like really it isn't really well then now let's change the icon pack Go to tweaks, then appearance, and then icons, papyrus, and there we go. Maybe I should change the cursor along with it. But which one I should go with Bibata? Bibata is best cursors I've seen. Well, let me show you. Yes, this one, the modern ice one. Well, then let shall we Bibata modern ice. There it is. Install it to copy the hidden rule at show ledge. Now create a new folder, dot icons, and paste. Go to tweaks. And there we go. I really loved it. Gorgeous, isn't it? Hmm, it is indeed gorgeous. Well then, what else should we do? Everything is indeed looking nice, I'll say. Well, well then there is one thing I should do to, you know, in order to check the performance of the distro. What we're gonna do is some gaming, for which I'm gonna go with Firefox. We're gonna do some web gaming in order to test the performance of its GPU and optimizations. But first, I'm gonna be needing to enable hardware acceleration, which I believe is already available there it is so let's go to kranka.io this is a legendary if you don't know about it brother you should enter pc gaming and if you are a pc gamer then you should enter web gaming well then we just must the display render one right let default settings let's go with no display now i want it f and i'm gonna change some cut where are can okay then let's see the FPS are pretty unstable else. Sometimes it's over 70, 80, like rarely. And then sometimes it, it is just not even playable. I don't know why it is doing this. Okay, this wasn't supposed to happen. There we go. Well... You see, I recently reviewed Deep in Linux and in that with the same set of things like running OBS along with a face cam, it was pretty okay. Like really, performance was a lot better. But I don't know why. Oh right, how can I forget? I've not properly installed the Nvidia drivers which means it is not even using my GPU. So it's obviousness that my FPS aren't that great. Like really.
even at unstable FPS. Well. Okay, I believe that is enough. So in my opinion, I really need to install and update all the drivers and codecs. But you see the reason I'm not doing it. Let me show you. Why is it that? So open a new window. Just type sudo dnf up and did it. So I'll be need. I need to download 1.2 gigs of updates. It's really gonna take a lot of time. And you see, as an Indian. <laughs> In India, we don't have unlimited data and even there are, I have done some top up and I have data but the internet speed is literally very bad. Oh yeah, I can. Well then, what else can we do? Let's open store and see something. Well, there are some pretty interesting and new software. It has been some time since my last visit to software. Most of them are in my opinion flat packs. There's a YouTube downloader which is also in my opinion a flat pack as i thought well this what is this fire drive? all right it's a tiny native discord app but i prefer the real and by the way the link of discord of my channel is in the description so don't forget to join our linux community well then here we have the real legend of linux gaming oad i don't know i've never played it but I've heard stories and you know rumors that it is a pretty nice game for Linux and it's native so that is why people like it. Alright I've heard about this one specially the PlayStation 3 emulator. You see the reason I wanted to you know play with this emulator is because I wanted to play Tekken. Tekken 6 to be but not today because you know internet speed of India. Well just look at the time. Oh my just after a few years it'll be morning well then i believe that is enough for the first video like well then let me know in the comments what should i do on this distribution next because i don't know like really i install linux just to review stuff do some linux things like content creation not sure i want to do some gnome customization some kd customization and that's the only thing i'll do besides that i don't have any use of linux in my I use Windows for video editing, hit for Express, and I don't know why, but Linux does not support MP4 format, and that's a literal big drawback. And I don't have that much money to purchase the studio version. But yeah, in my opinion, Fedora is a lot better than Linux. Not Linux Mint. Linux Mint is of obviously the King Kong of Linux. But the only thing which stopped me from installing the best of the best Linux distribution, Linux Mint is well yeah the desktop is pretty old for linux like really they should add gnome or kde at least they should give us option and that's the only reason i'm here on fedora in my opinion if you want a gnome based test you know distribution which is a little powerful but at the same time very stable and i say go with fedora the best linux distribution for your productivity your gaming even like really, I just played a nice game without GPU drivers. I just played it with CPU and if you and if you have not forgotten then my OBS is running in the background which is literally squeezing every bit of my CPU and still it was able to give me a decent amount of FPS on what was that name? Crunker. So in my opinion this distribution is pretty nice. Well then I believe that's it for today. I hope you have enjoyed the video and if you do then subscribe for a daily dose of awesome rest content uploaded on this channel. And I'll meet you next video. Till then I'm Moon signing out.